Hello everybody, it's me Derek Jameson and I am coming to you with a little video about synchronicity. Uh, this is just a little bit of a way to tap into the synchronicities and messages that we're receiving that we don't realize that we're receiving. Uh, I get messages from people that say, well, I don't think I'm receiving the way that I should be or I'm not doing enough or I'm not doing it right and so on and so forth. Now, it's not that you're not doing things right or correctly. It's that you're going to receive messages the way that you're ready for. And sometimes we don't know how to be open to that or that we're looking in the wrong direction and we're not seeing those things that are taking place that are giving us messages. So it's important that you keep your mind open to your senses, your clear senses, so just the sense of knowing, the sense of hearing, feeling, seeing. Don't discount anything because if you start to do that, then you cloud your mind uh, of what the messages that you are getting. So make sure that you take a look at those things. And the one thing I want to focus on today is synchronicity. So um, what I've noticed with myself a lot every day, constantly, even before I started this video, and this is why I started it, was that everything, when you're doing things the right way, you're going to be fortified with messages of synchronicity, things kind of lining up. Now that can come in, in different forms. It can come in the form of you thinking about somebody or thinking of a text or that you're going to send to somebody and then they send you a text first and all of a sudden you receive this message from them and you're like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about them. Or for example, I was taking a shower the other night and I was thinking, huh, this person popped in my head about something. I get out of the shower. The, first, the only message that was on my phone was from that person. So sometimes we're tapping into those things and pay attention to those little synchronicities that happen. Another way of synchronicity happens is with um, times on the clock. Not only times on the clock, but times overall. So if you start seeing 111 or like 222, 333, 444, I'm sure you've heard of this concept before, but don't discount those things. I happened to come in from a walk with my dog and I looked at the uh, phone and I was like, what am I gonna talk about today for uh, my followers and people that are looking for information? And literally I picked up my phone and it said 1111. I was like, that's what I'm gonna talk about, synchronicities. So pay attention to the things that are happening around you. For example, I even take songs and I like, you know, I like dance music. So I go and I take the phone and I swipe it over to go hear what the drop is because of course it's the juicy part of the song. So I go swipe it over and all of a sudden it lands on 111. And I go, of course it did. Or I got done with some readings yesterday and I went to turn on my Apple TV just to play music while I got ready for an event I was going to. And right as it started, it was on 222. So all of these things can kind of line up, not just the time on the clock that you see, but times or number synchronicities. Sometimes I open up my Instagram and I'll see the same number across the board for everything. Like two likes, two comments, two people added you kind of thing. It's wild, but if you start tapping into those synchronicities, you're going to start seeing the messages that are coming through for you. And what those are are very supportive messages saying, you're doing the right thing, we are here to support you, your guides, your angels, you are, you are supported, your higher self. You're doing those things that are going to support your journey and your life purpose. So make sure you pay attention to the things that are lining up within your life. Um, a gift that you're giving, like, I really want to go to this thing, but maybe I can't afford it. And then all of a sudden someone's like, hey, I want to give you this. You know, when you do good and you act from the heart and you put a message out there, that message of love, if it is from love, will be received and brought back to you in the good way. However, that goes for the same way too. If you put out a message of unhappiness or discord, you're going to receive the same thing. So make sure that um, you're putting those things out there that are going to align with the things that you want. All right? Look for those synchronicities. This is a short video. I just want to talk about starting with one concept that you can start working with in order to manifest and make sure that you see the messages that you're receiving. Okay, so synchronicities, keep your eyes open for it. All right, thank you, have an amazing Sunday and I'll get back to you soon.